routine stress testing is often done uh, in more than three and a half million people in the United States uh, for diagnosis of coronary artery disease or in people who have established coronary artery disease. Yet the uh, value of these stress tests has been questioned and they're, because they're expensive and are time consuming. Cardiologists and physicians are in the emergency room, for example, are familiar with troponin measurements. Um, troponin is uh, used, as you know, for diagnosis of myocardial infarction. Above a certain level, it rules you in for having had a heart attack. What we are measuring is not the regular troponin in this study, but high sensitivity troponin, which is detectable troponin levels below the normal range in which the regular troponin assay measures for this protein. Troponin comes out of the uh, myocardial cells. Um, there are two high sensitivity assays available in the market, high sensitivity troponin T and high sensitivity troponin I. Um, and uh, these have now become approved for measurement of um, myocardial ischemia or myocardial infarction in the emergency room as well. In our population with uh, patients with coronary artery disease who had normal left ventricular function, 25% of those individuals had levels below 2.5 and you know very few, less than 5% had a positive stress test and had excellent prognosis. Uh, people who had left ventricular dysfunction to begin with had higher levels on average of high sensitivity troponin uh, compared to those who had normal function. So up to a quarter of individuals, even with established coronary artery disease, are likely to have levels below the 2.5 cutoff mm -hmm. in whom one might defer or avoid stress testing because A, their prognosis is very good and B, the likelihood of having a positive stress test is extremely low. So the question is what happens to people who have levels above 2.5 and what should be the course of action in those people. Only about 30 to 40 percent of individuals who had levels above that and had coronary artery disease had a positive stress test. Uh, so it doesn't tell you who's going to have a positive stress test except that individuals who have higher levels tend to have higher likelihood of having a positive stress test. But it helps you at the lower end much more. And so the negative predictive value is what we were most interested in.